This episode of Speakers of Heidelin is made possible by our generous patrons. Special thanks to our supreme and master speakers, Sirka Barakil, Remy Asalia, Saray Cypher, Omega Cat Comet, Erisu Yamakawa, Nina Grimstotter, Casey Schaefer, Daimos, Cecir Valilirafool, Lily Black, Hans Grenade, Sapa Chakwatol, Asuta Starbreeze, Faris Gentoru, Cletus Oreo, Quick Levin, Sayori Snowfall, Lucalia Natrell, Stella Bell, Cirrus, Icy Lee, Lyria Rain, Pamela Isley, Umbral Wind, Naive Arino, Celeste Rascris, Unreal Maximus, Edwin, Bob CC, Celestia, Fabs and Voidworm, Yuling Zhang, Raimi Maverick, Code Red No, Mira Miri, and Winebow Brood. Support the show and become a patron today at patreon.com slash speakersxiv. Thank you. This is Speakers of Highland. Good evening, Aeorsians. Welcome to Speakers of Fightland, episode 192. I'm Lukiel Bravestone, and I'm joined today by Georgi Wiston, Rol no, Rollo Desk, Georgi Wiston, and Mail of Anadar. Hi. Uh, it's weird not having Hi. the close up still. Um, welcome, everyone. Uh, it has been, um, well, yesterday has, was a very uh, interesting uh, day. Uh, live letter uh, 40. 50... 58. 58. Um, happened. Uh, we know more about 5.3 now, which is big hype. Uh, and we will talk about that today. That is the main topic. Uh, if there's time, we'll read Mogmail. Now, I said last week that we would read Mogmail first. And I question you very loudly. And I... W we will... Not read Mong Mail first. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe we'll read yeah. it at the end. I forgot that we had to do the live letter coverage uh, today. So uh, I'm sorry, um, but uh, we will try to read Mong Mail at the end of the show. Uh, to disappoint. Yeah. Um, stay tuned for the post show. We have questions from the syndicate to read uh, quite a lot. So I think that will be the bulk of the post show. Uh, so the once. Entire bulk. Yeah, <laughs> the entirety of the post show. So unfortunately, no more, uh, no uh, tournament bracket. Um, so uh, the, yeah, that's the show. Let's talk about what we've done in fourteen this week. Uh, <laughs> hmm, who should start? Let's start with Rollo. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Rollo, and I have a fourteen addiction. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. um, anyway, uh, my friends. Some more friends of mine started getting back into 14 because they saw the um, the live letter. They're like, oh, that's neat. And they were like partway through Stormblood. So I'm helping them get through that mostly um, and helping them get accustomed to something because mm -hmm. some of them haven't played since like the end of Stormblood, basically. Oh. <laughs> so uh -huh. reacquainting mm -hmm. them. I've been spending most of my time doing that. Being like, hey, this is how crafting works. Here's this crafting guide. This is how there's the firmament. Do that shit. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm too lazy today, but you can do it. Um, it. Hey, that one guy in my FC that really just wanted to make the airship. I You can just do it yourself now. I don't have to yeah. be in the party. So. <laughs> That's mostly just that. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, well, I already know, <laughs> Gergi. Uh, what have you done in 14 this week? Well, why do you have to still ask me? <laughs> why can't you just like go on to the next place? Well, it, people would wonder. People would wonder why. Why did you skip Georgi? Okay, Georgi hasn't done anything. Mela. Okay. Um, what have I done this week? Um, uh, shops upgraded. Got some stuff from. Oh, in uh, in fourteen, nothing in fourteen. Mm. Mm, I uh, see. Well, I've done like one expert rune. Does that count? That's something no. that you've done. You've so yeah. done something. 
I've I've done I've done something. I've leveled. I'm leveling bard. So I do. I just level. Mm-hmm. Do leveling roulettes and MSQ got, roulettes a lot. Got any opinions on bard so far? Uh, well, I hated it in Heaven's Word, which is why I didn't really. Mm. And it mm. it hobbled through Stormblood. Uh, but now I feel like it's more like the A Realm Reborn Bard that I liked. So oh, even nice. though even though <coughs> the the songs are a bit weird, I don't quite. Do you like the paragraphs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. It's yeah. I don't know. It's the, that the part. Essay to play Bard. Yeah. Oh, um, I really like Bard as it currently is. <clears throat> yeah, I I think Bard is in a okay spot Bard now. Was beautiful. It was awful. I played Black Mage, and they made me really Bow strong. Bow Mage was not good. No, they sucked, but it made me really strong. <laughs> think about mm. that. If you think about it now, like you had to cast as like an archer. What a fucking yeah. stupid idea. But then they would cast it's... Bow's Requiem, and I had that, um, what was it called? That that GPS increase that bards get. They're like something strikes Hawk, or whatever. Hawkeye? Raging, Raging, strikes. Raging strikes. Raging strikes. I could have yeah. that still. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, with the I, I will say that the songs are weird, but I feel like they're better because they they do. It's kind of like Astrologian's cards. They kind of just do whatever now. They don't for for the your party mm. members. Um, but I like that they have. There's. I mean, they're fun. I'm I think they're sure, better now. I'm pretty sure all the songs for your party members are just crit up. If I remember correctly, it's cr- no. It's I think it's direct hit rate as well. I think it's there's slight it? variations. I think Mage's Ballad is damage up. I don't really read a lot of them because there's there's a lot to read. So <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to read. Yeah, um, but it is funny. Just bring back Bow Mage. That but is... not 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 for Bard. I think as a new job. Oh, okay. That they would should be bring an that, interesting that, that idea back. Idea. Yeah. I, 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 I'd be I cool. I don't know if they should have one range melee class just be a like a bow mage mm. that would be weird mm. it doesn't have to be like a ranged physical yeah. it can be like a magic one just, yeah. i think it was a neat i don't think it was if it's a magic good. one isn't that just a caster at that point but it's like a has short cast so it's <laughs> i don't think anyone <laughs> any right short okay short okay casts. No one wants this class, Rob. Really. <laughs> no one wants this. I mean, I don't know. Some people seem to enjoy the idea, and it well, looked sort of neat. What was interesting was that when they switched back from Bow Mage in Stormblood, people mm. had just gotten used to Bow Mage. So they were like, oh, mm. I had just gotten used to it. But I think most people now agree that Bow Mage was a bad time. It was bad. Uh, it's terrible machine. It, it is it so is satisfying to run around and shoot that was like yes one of the best things about being a, a, a yeah. bard you could kite bosses in a realm reborn and never get hit yeah yeah mm, great yeah <laughs> yeah they were always the have... kiters like you, they you yeah. Would use yeah it was so fun i yeah. used to say have... like entire pulls everyone would be dead and I could yeah yeah. yeah i have very fond memories of taking down bosses from like 25% once the, the rest of the party yeah. has died. Yeah. yeah. You just feel so good in there. They're probably thinking, God, I wish it just died so we could start again. But you, <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I will slow down this. It would be quicker if we just all res. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. I am the hero. I am a bard, <laughs> damn it. Uh, all right. Um, well, that's what we've done in 14 this week. Uh, let's jump into some uh, recent events. Well, I, sh- I should say recent event, because there hasn't really been much happening other than the live letter this week. Um, but we do have to report that um, uh, there is an end to is- the-, the current uh, Ishgard restoration. Uh, Tonberry has completed uh, Ishgard restoration. Uh, well, well done. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah, by that we can confirm there are 38 stages to this, um, what do we call this? This tier of Ishgard restoration. Yeah. Um, Heck of a, what was the first one? It was like five or ten. Yeah, five or yeah. It was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was very, it was very like short. Six or yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. So they've done it pretty well this time. It's yeah. lasted up until the patch. I think Ragnarok will get it by the patch. So, I don't think um, some of the Balmung, uh, very low ones. Balmon will soon. They are M35. Good luck. So there was 36, right? Or 36. No, sorry, there were 38 stages. 38. And I think Balmain yeah. is on 35. 
So that's yeah. that's soon. So yeah, most of the NA servers are like in their mid high twenties right now. So. Yeah. yeah. Shout out. You still to, got time to participate if you want to. Shout out to Spriggan. <laughs> Hang in there. You're on twenty two. Yeah. You're on twenty two. Mm. Get no. get crafting. No. Uh, <laughs> um, Being on Goblin when we're only at twenty four, <clears throat> it gives me plenty of opportunity to go back in there and actually participate. I'm mm. like I haven't been doing for the last twelve or so phases. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, if you haven't been to the firmament in a while, it is worth going and checking because it, it, there's it, some cool. Yeah, that's cool things. now. Yeah, mm. uh, I mean, they are just bla- like they're, it's just housing. It's literally just housing that they're showing us now. They're all ha- they're, they have the whole setup. They have the the fence, and they have the, who knows the even they have the placards. Even they have everything. No. Everything is there. It's all up in the air at this point. It's for your uh, squadrons that you got to. <laughs> Squadron Stop. housing. <laughs> yeah, Wouldn't squadron it be housing. Funny if, if we did make a housing district, and in the final cutscene, there's just loads of people from like the broom and it's <laughs> yeah. who just Thanks moved for in ba- making houses. houses for us. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Um, it looks really nice. So, a lot of Halone, a lot of Halone imagery everywhere. They mm-hmm. really love Halone. That's f- for sure. Uh, go on, Gergi. So what I've seen people discussing is. Should there be any degree of priority for people that have participated in the Ishgard restoration to obtain housing in the Ishgardian district? How Ishgardian? In the uh, I don't know. I don't... Yeah, but you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we ended all that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't, uh, that would be weird. I don't think that's going to happen. It would be fairer, People would I think, be though. very angry. I think. They would, but I think they not would put be any effort. What if someone, regardless. What if someone joined the game today and they reach level 80 when the Ishgar restoration is complete and they're like okay everyone who's now worked on this will get a house and they're like you know what there's gonna be houses free in other districts yeah but why should why should they limit Ishgar restoration why should they limit the firmament I can understand it from that point of view though like if you've spent six months constantly playing Ishgar restoration you should have somewhat of a better chance than someone who's just dinged 80 today and has been playing the game it's for about five minutes. That doesn't line... Okay, well, considering it's how... It's going to be instant housing, dudes. I'm telling you. <laughs> this will Specifically for Ishgard, though, there will be a personal instance housing ward. Everyone mm. will have one. You that would be fine. House? You, that's where you go. <sighs> yeah, that would be... That could be possible, but I, I, I don't know if they will do that, though. That's, I've seen one I, theory I, I, thrown around... <laughs> is that people who are saints or beatuses of the firmament will have, oh, like, that's priority. That's stupid. Like a head start? That would be... Why? I mean, it... How many are there per server? Yeah. There's Same like... as any other, I guess. Yeah. 20, what is it? 50, 60? I don't know how many wards there are. There's 20 hundred... wards. Well, no, there's definitely... Are you talking about the wards or the amount of people with the title? The... Oh, do you mean? Oh, yeah, I don't know. What I, was, I was asking with the title. Like, how many wow. were it's like up to with the title. Number. I mean, there's a possible there's a possibility of like a hundred per class. Yeah. Mm. So that's up to one eleven hundred people. So, so that's mm. the housing word. Done. That is the whole housing word. So. <laughs> yeah. But not everyone will want a house. Not everyone will want to move to Ishgard. Out of eleven hundred people, I think the majority would though. Mm. If it's they're true. still playing by the time this happens. How many housing um, districts do we have right now per... I think it's like... Oh, I can't remember. 20-something wards now? 20 times 60. Nine. That's a lot. I think, though, on the other hand... So that's, 12, so that's 1,200. So there'll be at least 100 free. <laughs> that's the worst Perfect. thing I've ever heard. In the, same, in the same way, though, like, if you are the number one like crafter who's who's basically carried the restoration and then you never got a house there you'd be pretty upset i would be more into like the the top five because then who gets the like the the big title to top, so top 12 10. top 12 top, uh, maybe top 12 could get some sort of advantage I'm if fine. if i don't i'm, I'm still against too. this by the way but i'm I'd rather I, have I that just, than the fucking hundred where you don't really have to do much you can like go to the diadem will crafters true, yeah I kind of agree with that. I just think that, like, 
I feel as if they should be somewhat rewarded because what do they get right now? They get a fucking title. They get a cool title. They get a title and they get like they They're get beaters. They can no beaters. The rubbish title. <laughs> the no. is the rubbish. Yeah, oh, they, they all, well. They also don't they get the script so they can get all the exclusive rewards that are very You're very very scripts. expensive. Yeah, but that's not. <laughs> That's, that's not a house. That's not a house. Yeah, it's, it's not a house. It's I mean, not a house. They like, do get it, slightly well rewarded, but come on. It's you know, it, it's a big task to get to the top. Also, spot. let me mention. Let me just say this: How the f do you think Spaghetti Spaghetti alla Capri, that is Final Fantasy fourteen, is able to implement such a restriction system for housing, which is already a Spaghetti Spaghetti system to begin with? Yeah, because it can. Will do they take based on the effort required to re to change no. how housing works to limit people from buying it without a certain title? I do mean, you, for housing, which is already <laughs> under extreme pressure. I mean, but, I'm not saying they will. I'm saying. It, well, that's it, that's it, what it, we're discussing, it, though. If they will, <laughs> I'm saying it would be. I'm saying it would be a good idea. I I say it will be a terrible idea. They Why haven't do you think exactly it's a terrible advertised. Idea? Because everything else in this game becomes available to everyone eventually, and it's very strange for them to like limit. That's not true, though. Don't make me get in on PvP mounts again. Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> I am against it as well, but I I see the logic in it. You know, in in some ways, you know, you spent months of your life wasted in Ishgard restoration doing whoa, whoa, nothing. Whoa, but crafting whoa, 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 over whoa, 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 whoa. Originally, housing was not even like confirmed. It was just a thing you did for for yeah, scripts. There was never so a guarantee it, when you started Ishgard Restoration that you were going to get a house. You don't do this for a house. No, there was no. No, no. That, that was the true. case. The that is step. no. That is true. You are not doing this for a house. At no point does the game tell you when this is no, finished you, you will get a house. No, no. The game is not telling you that. But that exactly. doesn't mean that you shouldn't. What? <laughs> what does that mean? I know what. So you when mean. you restored Doma, you expected something else—a house. I have restored no, Doma with my materia. Never, Where is my house? Never even there. I don't think this is about a sense of entitlement. I think it's just it is about a sense of whether or not people who have put in more effort into unlocking the housing ward should have some sort of priority <laughs> in actually using it. No, hmm. disagree. I mean, I, I, I'm. I don't think that should happen either, but I see, you know, at least for the Saints, look how much effort they put in. Look at Tonbury versus Spriggan. Yeah, but you they're know. doing it more for the competition, though. I don't think most of them did it to get I... a house. Oh, no, there's not necessarily a sense to get the house from it, but the fact that you've put in all that effort and then it's finally finished. So just to put it like this, I, well, I well, I, I don't really participate in this, but when I did the first phase, at no point did I think, oh, maybe there's a house in it for me when I do this, because in the first, when it was short, the short phase, I did it a lot. But at no point oh, did I, I expect anything but the scripts and the progress, of course. I wanted Ragnarok to do good back then. I don't care anymore yeah. now because it's there's because I, I didn't see the end of it. Now that I see the end of it, I kind of want to finish get it done. I mean, this is oh, again, this is not something that will affect me because I'm not <clears throat> really participating in it either. Yeah. No. I just feel I just feel bad. I part of me feels bad that like there are these people that are putting in a lot of effort who might not even get a house in Ishgard, which I think is quite might not even get a house sad. in Ishgard. What is this? <laughs> I think I think it is strange. They are getting a title that very few will get. That's not a great title. Saint? Uh, no, I, I, Saint's pretty cool. Is, is it just Saint by the like, just a Saint? Saint of the yeah. Firmament. No, it's Saint, Saint of the, the Firmament. Oh, okay. I mean, that they're is being canonized living in Ishgard Yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll be in the law book. <laughs> yeah. Saint uh, Rollo. There you go. I wonder. Well, I think... I, un, I, I, I also um, don't I think they mean. will implement a system like but, that. I don't think they will at either, the time, to be perfectly honest. And the live letter. Let's let's jump into the live letter, maybe. Wait, what? Are we, you're just uh, moving on? What? what? We, I'm we, just trying to we say have more than enough time, Mela. <laughs> okay, fine. Carry on. Yeah. About that. <laughs> I'm just um, saying, like, if you're going to... Like, if you're just doing this, you can't, like, just do it and expect something that's not even been announced. Exactly. Yet. I like, understood it. Like, yeah, go on. 
with like PvP rewards or whatever, like for the feast, like you know what you're working toward. It's like you know you're getting the exclusive thing at the end of the season, right? Yeah, yeah. But here it's mm-hmm. like, I mean, you're getting the scripts yeah. and the title and yeah. the other and stuff, and so that, apparently and that is the re- reward, that is the reward that you were told you were you you knew you were getting the title, the ranking, and the mm-hmm. scripts to buy the exclusive items. Those are the items you can expect. You can't expect a fucking but house. I, I, I think you're being disingenuous to say that at a certain point it was not apparent that the house was there. Yeah, it, apparent that the house is there, but not that you're getting one. Yeah. No, I know that, but what I'm saying is... When a builder builds a house, say- he's not getting the house. Someone else is getting that house. Mm-hmm. You're getting paid in scripts. That's, I don't know if that's necessarily equivalent. It is! That's what you're doing. You're building houses. Mm-hmm. It's exactly I mean, what you're doing. Uh, I could I see say, it as if maybe like I, will, the next I, will, I don't know if that's necessarily comparable because scripts in real life are like were used to pay slaves instead of actually giving them money. Well, that's not so, how it works I in mean, this game. <laughs> that is not how this, you buy fucking I mean, cons- you buy animals fa- you can ride. The fact that Rowena is the one that gives out scripts, not the Sky Builder script. Well, we're not but, here to discuss the the nature of the script. And scripts. she's technically having a lot of staff members in servitude to her, basically. Yeah, that's true. Yes, that is she true. She's a slave so, driver. I just, that's why I say I don't necessarily think it's comparable. <laughs> what? what? Scripts? We're not talking about this. We're talking about, you're getting paid well, you're in a currency that, that is accepted in the game, Georgi. This is an accepted form of payment. It for a war- a reward. Yes. <laughs> you are getting scripts mm. that you can this spend like, on exclusive items. Stop yeah, trying to like... talk. Bri- to- you're t- <laughs> what are you on about, Georgi? I said a builder building a house does not get the house as payment. They get something else that they can spend on something else in their lives. They get scripts to get a gorilla. Yeah. Uh, Nice straw man, Georgi. Let's move on to the main story. Let's talk about Live Letter 53. 58. I still can't read no Roman numerals. Uh, all right. Uh, we, um, well, speaking of uh, Yellow Icon, it starts with something we can't talk about. Um, but we'll mention it. They got a letter from someone working in uh, that sector that is the, under a lot of pressure right now. Um, the calamity field. Mm-hmm. Uh, they uh, basically said thank you for what you're doing, whatever. Uh, it's very cute and nice if you should... They said they were going to post it somewhere. Uh, I don't when know if that has been posted digest yet. Is out. Yeah, probably I, yeah, I assume with the digest. Um, so, uh, because of what's happening, uh, the development team, uh, are now working from home. They went into great detail about how difficult it actually is. Uh, oh, yeah. the, the workflow, uh, has to be adjusted quite a bit. Like there's, uh, limitations to like, they can't bring a computer from a work computer home because if they try to go online, it just won't do it because yeah they have some how. sort of like internal server. yeah it needs to check with the server if it's okay to go online mm. and you don't have that at home uh, the funny is yeah the, the funny part was uh it made me want to work at square enix office they said every morning they come in it takes about 20 minutes <laughs> for mm. them to load their computer up you know i did 20 minutes every day yeah of like just nothing mm. yeah um, I can't let it leak no, no. Um, and <laughs> there was this w- odd example. First of all, they talked about how uh, internet speeds were much slower at home than it were they were at Square Enix, which makes sense, I guess. They have like gigabit, you know, that office probably has very mm-hmm. quick uh, internet. Um, mm-hmm. But they, one of the issues was that p- uh, families would complain when they brought their development computer, which is a massive computer, into the living room because it was so noisy. Mm. Uh, so they couldn't use it all the time. And I thought that's a weird example because I'm pretty sure in this situation they would allow that because that is kind of, you know, I would assume a source of income for the household. Yeah, like, <laughs> they would be uh, like, okay, this is for a limited <laughs> time. We'll live with this for now. What can I say, boss? My wife hates it. <laughs> <you know? laughs> they did talk about the size of uh, Tokyo apartments and stuff. They're yeah, they did say that. And if you're that, living in close quarters with someone, and now it's like suddenly yeah. going from like rare to 24 7. You yeah. get annoyed quickly. Yeah, I would assume. Yeah, that I mean, would be. It yeah. makes a bit more sense when you imagine them living in like a three to four, four room apartment. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, that was... Uh, so they said uh, there is a delay. We knew that for patch 5.3. They now said okay. that it's going to probably be mid to late June or possibly early July. So I'm assuming early July. They always go for the latter, later end of, uh, mm-hmm. of delays. Um, Not too bad of a wait still. No, we, we'll survive. Um, I still wonder whether this was the patch... I mean, they they had no way of predicting this, but like I don't know, this is the patch that it's a nice to be left on. Uh, that's true. There's not a lot of. Uh... Well, we'll do Aiden's Gate. Well, well yeah. What I'm doing is I'm just leveling my other classes now. Mm-hmm. This is a perfect opportunity to just do that. Uh, and you get your also... gemstones up. Yeah, I'm exactly. trying that, but it's I mean, very boring at the lower level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, all the I'm stuff. Check for it, not the point. Yeah. Chat brings up the point that it will give all of the servers plenty of time to complete 38 phases of the firmament, firmament by the middle of the year. Mm, that is true. Yeah. I think a lot of the delay, though, was like during the time when they were migrating to working from home, they weren't really able to actually work. Mm-hmm. No. So they've kind of just lost the entire month of development time yeah. rather than it just being delayed due to other things. So that's, that's pretty significant. Yeah. They also they mentioned that... Um... Uh, voice actors, uh, specifically, uh, I think in Europe, uh, that was a, a concern at once at first, but they uh, sorted that pretty quickly. They're just doing it from home, which is what most oh, voice yeah. actors do now. They just send the files over. Um, mm. so that's... Do you think their setups are good, or do you think it would be like patch 5.2, or you're like, oh, that DOS this, and then patch 5.3, like, hey guys, <laughs> <laughs> You hear a dog barking in the background, some dishes <laughs> being clean. Uh, I hope so. I yeah. hope, I hope like fucking Sid is <laughs> one day we get the just like muffled barking in the background. Sid hasn't had a voice since like yeah, and the fi- and the actual know, actual I return is just garbage <laughs> Skype noise. <laughs> Uh yeah no uh, I'm oh sure God. I'm sure they they found a good way to to record the yeah. voices. Um, like a little shoebox, put your microphone in there. There are many ways you can you can even like a good tip if you don't have uh, any good places to do that you can just put a if you have a duvet, put it over you, put the microphone in. Mm-hmm. There you go, that works. You'll there get you very warm. It's it gets very hot in there. But uh, is that how you do your uh, fall and rise recordings? Uh, what I think one or two of the Fallen Rice episodes were done that way. <laughs> really? Wow! Because I was redecorating and the room was just very echoey. Oh, so, so empty. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, anyways, let's move on to uh, the actual patch stuff. Um, we know the title. The title is Reflections in Crystal. We were hoping for a, a title that would tell us more. This doesn't quite tell us a l- much. Um, but they did show artwork, and there has been. I'll show you. So the, for our audio viewers, we'll try to describe the, the, the artwork. Uh, mm-hmm. It's um, it's Graha yeah. holding a crystal. Uh, or he's not holding it, it's floating between his hands. Mm. Um, it's so, how, well, it's how they hold crystals in this game. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Um, it looks like the crystal that they were uh, using earlier to try and fuse with but the look, blood. But look at this. Yes. Yeah, look at this. Right. Oh uh, my god. It uh, looks just like the crystal from Patch 5.2. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's... I mean, it doesn't quite... I don't know if it, if it helps us uh, in any way, but uh, it does oh, seem yeah. to match up with the crystal in the it's initial perfect. art. And you know what? Mm. how they like making artwork I, that uh, leads into the other artwork? It makes me like 5.2's artwork more. Because yeah. I, thought for, I always thought for 5.2's artwork was really, like, not detailed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, I so guess the only yeah, thing I can glean from reflections in crystal, maybe, and the fact that I think we've already talked about the crystal tower mandatory thing yet last week, mm-hmm. um, or we'll talk about it later. But two, you know, graha crystal tower reflect. I don't know, like there's because there's two grahas. Yeah. Maybe mm. there's some sort of connection there. But yeah. It's pretty. Uh, he, the, uh, non-title. He, he does have his hood up as well. Uh, oh, point. It's a very solemn look. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's still the source, the Exarch one. Yeah. Yes, he's still the Exarch. Exarch. This is, so I'm assuming this is supposed to be the crystal that they've been trying to 
Uh, no, it's not, because that one's more ornate, isn't that's it? That's like ornate? a thin aura site one anyway. It'd be white. Yeah, yeah that's true. Ribbon. That's true. Uh, but there's a part of me that wonders if they only did it, just mm -hmm. drew it this way, and then like it does. It's not. It is supposed to mean that, but they just chose to like do the patch artwork like this. Mm, that yeah. is fact. What he's, if yeah, go on. the crystals in it is not floating, but it's actually in his chest? Because mm. he's, he's gonna die, and he becomes a crystal. Well, well, his eyes, are, <laughs> <laughs> his eyes are hidden, which. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it can that He's can mean shrouded. many things. Yeah. Has he been in any patch artwork yet, like with his head down? No, I don't think so. Right? No, no, no. I always had to. I think I still want to keep it a secret for people. Even in that original Shadowbringers one that we we called like everything we called. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Th could this perhaps be hinting at his death? It, it or maybe. Uh... I think not. that's reading into it a bit too much. I'm not saying that he won't die, well, but I don't think that's why his hood is up. No. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to read from this. It's very non... non. It doesn't tell us anything. It's just him with a fucking crystal. No, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. I just don't think the hood being up is necessarily meaning all that much. No, but I do want him no. to die. I want him to you die. You want well, him so to die? die. Uh, okay, so... I want uh, one Graha. No, 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 no. You don't get to just move <laughs> on to it. You want him to die. No. I don't want him to die, but I want... I want first Exarch to fuse with old Graha and become what one I, with what, yeah, memory. That's what um, I want What I well. don't want is two Grahas. No. That's what. Yes. That's Double all. the fun. Double the pleasure. So uh, they <laughs> they they uh, they mentioned that uh, this MSQ reflections in crystal uh, will be the conclusion to the Shadowbringers arc. We knew yeah. that, but um, there you go again. Um, the new dungeon that they teased uh, was called is is called the Heroes' Gauntlet. Yeah, Heroes' Gauntlet. What they does that mean? What does it mean? Hey, well, oh yeah, the artwork. I don't have it here, but the you artwork. Show, yeah. The artwork is in Lakeland, but it's got. Well, we don't know if it's in it's Lakeland. Got leaf it's man. got Leafman in it. So I was thinking it might be on the border because Lakeland borders uh, Ilmeg, or the Leafman can move, so they might have just moved out of of Lakeland for whatever reason as well. Leafman can move. Oh, that would. Well, they can be picked up. Maybe they they, they can be they can move. Well, they can't move. If they can the be pruned, things. they can be moved. Yeah, that's. I mean, also, they can be moved. Pixies can. Or just pick, make sorry, them. pixies can just make them. Then they might just be yes. people that have turned yeah. into leafmen. Uh, yeah. Um, another theory I've seen about this that I don't know if isn't necessarily true, but is the idea that like the hero's gauntlet will be some sort of illusory dungeon that consists of theme. Of like aspects from every zone in Norbrand. That would be cool. Ah. I'm guessing it because as because as the name is right now, it's very non-indicative of what's happening. Well, yeah, that's true. If that's the case, then maybe it. I, I would guess Elidibus has crafted some sort of trial for maybe all of his warriors. Because that's what I was thinking that it, that it ties into the warriors of light because they all think they're going to be heroes, mm. and maybe maybe they all get turned into leaf men. <laughs> Weird for them to show that no. in the yeah, first Yeah, but you picture. don't know that yet, do you? Yeah, but you don't know that no, yet. No, that's true. You just think, oh, that's just Leafman. Yeah. Uh, Maybe he wants to, like, mass exterminate them or something during his... Whatever his goal is. Why, like, would, why, he, why he made... would he exterminate them? I don't know. Why has he made them? Mm. I will be right back. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's... Rolla will be right back after this. This <laughs> is so suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. All right, I, I can, I can. Yeah, turn maybe off like um, I don't uh, know. Like he's brought them back. I assumed to try and build back up the light aspects and continue the rejoining plan, but I think that's been thrown off by a long period of time now. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's stupid. So maybe he's just, maybe he's just gonna kill them all. I don't know. I don't know. The picture is very. It doesn't tell us what anything about the them? tone of this. Because remember, he's he's Elizabeth has said he wants them to fight us. Mm. That is also true. Maybe he pits them. In, I don't know. Maybe we get the the pixies on our side and they turn them into leafmen. Mm. Maybe all the bosses are the warriors of light. 
Mm. Mm. Oh, and we'll kill that um, yeah, we'll that sassy them. one. <laughs> I can't yeah. remember his name at all. And it's called the Heroes Gauntlet, not because it's a gauntlet <clears> for <throat> heroes, but it's a gauntlet consisting of heroes. Yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah. Uh. Well. Uh. From that's that's all we got on that because <laughs> the picture is just a path with some leafmen and some pink trees or purple trees. Yes. Um, they then went on to talk about the Beast Tribe, or sorry, the Tribe quests uh, for this patch, and we have confirmed now it is the Dwarves. No surprise. Mm. It is the Crafting Beast Tribe as well. Um, yeah, no need to... I mean, the options are boundless for crafters right now. To yeah. Level them up. yeah. Yes. Uh, you got the Crystalline Mean stuff, you've got the firmament. Now you've got dwarves. Yeah. You've got the um, custom deliveries. Yep. <laughs> so many options. Yeah. It's the picture. It's. I'm just imagining that meme of the guy holding all the stuff, and then it's, that's just how <laughs> yeah. it is for crafters and yeah. leveling right now. Yeah. 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 Kind of. I, I'm glad I've got some lower level crafters that I can level with. This. Yeah. I only have I one mean, crafter I, left, so I because I, I finished I, craft. Yeah. I finished leveling all my crafters in like the start of 5.1. I knew there was going to be a crafting beast tribe, but I thought it was going to be the one before this. Uh, so I yeah. I held off like I had like three classes that I hadn't leveled. Now I'm only have one left. Thankfully, I hope I'll, I'll I'll try to not level that. Before. <laughs> I sort of I sort of understand why they did it in the order of gathering and then crafter because there are less gatherers. Yeah. So if they put the gatherer one later, it's less likely that you would have any left to level. Yeah. That is true. That's true, yeah. I don't really like a gatherer only one though. I don't either. There's I don't, it's two classes and there's all other options of leveling them as well. Like mm -hmm. I felt like I had I couldn't use two my XP. classes. How dare you? What is this fisher fisher erasure? <laughs> They're separate. They're not a proper gathering. Yeah. Yeah. They count. <laughs> and they, they can level through oh, Tari. All right, all right. All right. Uh, okay, yes. Um, yes, so dwarves. Look forward to that. Um, now... Do you, think that the, the, do you think that their base tribe stuff will just be in uh, Tomra? Well, the picture was in the Crystarium. Yeah, the picture showed us. Yeah, but I that's, assume that's just that's a that's story. Just, yeah. yeah, that could that's just be a story. Just, like, the, making connections. The pixie one has you go all over the world. Yeah, all mm -hmm. over North, right? Yeah. I'll say yeah. I'll I'll say it's in Kalusha, Yeah. Yeah. Because um, I kind of wanted to be right next to a uh, Aetherite, like the pixie one, because oh. I didn't like that the Katari one was not. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Maybe we'll build one, like we did for the um, fish, catfish. Mm. That would be. Mammoth. I wouldn't. That would be interesting. It would be the first zone that has four etherites. That's true. Yeah, but do you not think we should have just loads of etherites everywhere so life's even easier? No, I don't disagree. I'm just like, <laughs> it would be obvious. Yeah. What if we the build? The fact that we're at a hard limit of three so far makes me like. What if we build worry an ethereal, about the stability of the game? An ethereal gate. <laughs> Huh? Some 1.0 in there? Huh? <laughs> I don't like the idea of there just being one. <laughs> yeah, that's the only one in the entire game. Just one ethereal gate on the first. Um, yeah, no. Um, yes, uh, so that's uh, that's happening. Uh, then they moved on to Chronicles of a New Era. The Sorrow of Whirlit, uh, which is the Gaius storyline. No mm -hmm. trial, this patch. Um, no, which, no. Story focused, this is a point that I'm I'm sad we didn't talk more about. I think we talked about it just off air for the most part, but I we it seemed unlikely that we would fight Sapphire Weapon, um, mm. both because you don't you never fight Sapphire Weapon, mm -hmm. uh, mm. so you never fought it in seven, right? Nope. Sa Sapphire, yeah, um, and. It will be weird to fight it now because of the character that would be in charge of Sapphire Weapon. What's his name? Rex? Rex. Yeah. Uh, but there will be an instanced battle. So They clearly showed Sapphire Weapon. They, they do show Sapphire, which yes. is a reskinned Ultima with, like, armor. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, so pretty lame. Yeah. My theory, and I feel like this might <clears throat> suggest that it's possibly more likely to be true, is that we are going to sabotage Sapphire Weapon and prevent it from ever being activated. Yeah. That could be true. Which, again, would be kind of like what happened in 7, where they just fucking shot it before it was able to do anything. Yeah. Um, mm. It ties up to 7's law. Yeah. Um, and no, I'm fine with the instance. I was kind of... Yeah. I was kind of hoping we'd get a dungeon related to this rather than just a solo instance. That would be nice. Yeah. Similar to the Swallow's Compass. Yeah. Uh, okay. It might. It may not yeah. be Sapphire Weapon for all we know, by the way. Yeah, that's also true that chat's pointing out. We're just assuming it is Sapphire mm. Weapon. Well, it's uh, blue. It's blue. Yeah. Um, I assume it is, though. But yeah, yeah Four Lords got like two dungeons. Uh -huh. Three trials. I'm yeah. Back. Oh, Rollo's back. Hello, Rollo. Uh, Which let's is, see. You know, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. This, yeah. This has got one trial. You can't so even really say one trial necessarily because it's the important one was the story one. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of like a tacked on extreme, but yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they did again emphasize that this is a, very much a story uh, patch for this. So I'm yeah. just yeah, mm. going to see a lot of. Uh, yeah, a lot Chat of brings up the background. point. Yeah, go on. that Sid was Sid was in one of the screenshots from this uh, storyline. Mm -hmm. So I'm... Sid will once again be meeting up with Gaius and his friends. Yeah, it's just all over the place. Yeah, uh, let me just find this picture and then we will. There we go. I've found it. Well, at the schedule. Uh, so uh, let's see. Let's make this as. I like when Sid's involved in any quest because it. It kind of grounds me back into like a Realm Reborn era. It feels <laughs> yeah. like the, the actual storyline. Yeah. Okay, here it is. So this is... Uh, so, yeah. So uh, I feel like if this isn't Sapphire Weapon, what the fuck is it? Diamond mm. is the only other option. <laughs> yeah. Of the but I'm pretty sure yeah, Diamond is going to be one of the two or the both. The final one. Uh, the... The it's gonna be a major one. We're gonna have one. Emerald next, I think, and yeah. then. Why does it look yes, like Emerald that? will be next. Diamond is the last one. Yeah, why does it look like that? I, <laughs> I like the face. It, yeah. I, mean, I like it. Looks cool. It's just very ironworks. It's... Yeah, it is very ironworks. It does look it's... ironworks. It's got that blue, like ironworks blue. Also, it's got that mm. orange like color as well, which yeah. is uh... of the ironworks logo. Mm. Yeah. I don't like the um, triangles that much. No. No. And actually, looking. Oh no! Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Mm. Mm, okay. Uh, oh, I saw the Warrior of Lights like um cape and it looked a bit like an Alexander leg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Is that his head? Uh, mm. uh let's let me look at uh let's see. Sapphire weapon. Screenshots are subject to change. That's a good point. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's also true. true. Uh Sapphire it Weapon just doesn't look sapphire enough. No. No. No, it doesn't. Um what did let's see, um, or or maybe Sid is making his own weapon to counteract theirs, and we're gonna pilot this. Mmm. Yes. So yeah. Finally, mech combat. It's happening. Oh God! Can you imagine? Because because there's a major difference here because Sapphire, no, sorry, Ruby looks like uh, like organic tech. Mm-hmm. Like kind of gross looking with its like big. Uh, the feet with the big, feet with the big yeah, and the nails, like the fingernails and the f toenails, quite disgusting. Uh, well, Sapphire Weapon in Seven looked a bit like a like Leviathan sort of Sahagin kind of thing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot more like Ultima. Like it. Yeah, it looks like Ultima. It looks like a reskinned Ultima. Uh, like I know they're all supposed to, be, supposed to be like base in Ultima or whatever, but yeah, uh, like this one looks a lot more like it. Yeah. Than Ruby did, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So okay, let me just show a picture of Ruby weapons, just so our, our viewers can understand this. Look at this. Mm. He looks cool, and it's he got... looks exactly like Ruby. Well, not exactly. Not exactly. Like but yeah, it's kind of gross looking. Well, the uh, the it's one we. It's what you imagined. It's what you imagined he looked like in your mind back then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Horse hooves and everything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I that... don't understand what this one is. It looks more like diamond or ultimate. 
Yeah. Mm. Well, does it look like a... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's an instance battle. Um, anyways. Um, right. Okay. Will it, do you think it will be anywhere near as long as the Relic instance? Hmm. Probably not. I think maybe a reasonably similar length. I think it will have the quality. They yeah. seem to be pushing a lot into this side story. Mm. Because consider the fact that this is the only in like combat content for this storyline, this patch. That is true. That's true. Uh, I don't know. I I don't really know. I don't know what we're, what to expect from this storyline, considering. Mm what we're what we've been presented with uh from the screenshot chad is asking do you think Nero will be in any way involved in this storyline absolutely without, without a shadow yeah. of <clears throat> out of doubt are you you're so confident to say that that's very yeah. confident i mean I, i'm with you i'd love him to be there but yeah I, I would love that too mm. i don't know there's nothing to indicate it yet though it will be it, I would love, it yeah it'll be a shame if he doesn't i i think i would love yeah, go on. I would love to see a Neuro and Track with Gaius again. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. That would be really interesting. Because we've already pulled Sid out of... Uh, Sid is in the story from... And he was still working on the ironwork stuff in uh, Little Alamigo or whatever. Uh, they can pull Nero in here as well. And it makes yeah. sense. So, yeah. He'll probably show up at some point. I don't know if he will in this patch. I don't know if the, how long they'll wait until they pull him in, but mm. I think Nero will show up at some point in yeah. this. Although, so far this has been unvoiced. Yes. And I love Nero's voice, so yeah. Um, yeah. I want them to at least voice him. <laughs> we heard him, right? He's got yeah. a great voice actor. Yeah. When, when, when was he was last, last voiced? Was that Praetorium? Yeah. Because he's voiced in Praetorium. He's definitely mm. voiced in Praetorium. Did he not Crystal oh, no. Tower or Omega? That's for sure. No. Are you no. thinking about our beautiful voice work, Mela? When we no. did the story, <laughs> although that was fun. Yeah, he had a decent voice during that compared to some of the others. Hmm. Rambros. Rambros was a, a beast. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's move on. Uh, we need to talk about the Alliance raid because uh, they re revealed the title, uh, the Puppets Bunker. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is literally the bunker. It's the bunker in space it's, that's yeah. crashed down into wherever like we are. Area? Yeah, uh, maybe it's gonna have some of the desert themes as well. On maybe it'll be crashed down somewhere in the vastly apparent, apparently vastly unexplored island of Kalusia. Yes, yes, <laughs> it is massive. <laughs> um, to be fair, though, we do have. Uh, if you think about Kalusha being uh, Vilbrand, uh, there's like mm. this, the northern part of Vilbrand is not traversed at all by us. It's quite a big chunk that's not accessible in 14. I don't know if it's oh, this big, on. though. <laughs> the size of like the, the sheer size empty. of this I, is I agree much. with you. You've never been there, but I just find it so hard to believe that neither the people on the first nor the people on the source ever had any people travel to that part of the yeah. island. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd believe this more if we were we were past the flood. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That makes more sense. All right. right okay. Wow. That's fine. Um uh, let's do that. Yeah. Uh so um yeah. Uh it's uh it's uh the puppet's bunker, which is again we didn't really mention it. It's the thing in space that you play on in the automata. Yeah. The one where the commander and stuff yeah, is. Yeah. It's not a very significant part of the game. Uh-huh. In terms of like a location, but I guess it's cool. Yeah. Um I don't know. Let me just also uh, emphasize that north part of Vilbrand is yes indeed where the kobolds live, but we have never been there. Uh okay. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Um, um it's not what people were predicting for the second phase. Well, I will say I will man. I want to criticize the people <laughs> because wow. we jumped on that oh, okay. very quickly without like any reason. They just mentioned that they were going to have a carnival or some festival. Don't say without any reason. They said there was festival. a festival. They said festival and that was it. But also that was the dwarves. They were going to have oh, no. a festival, not the 
not your heart. I mean, I, I agree <coughs> with you. Yeah. Saying, don't say that there was no reason for it. No, but this was a theory that I, I was never like 100% in on. I just accepted it as mm. it's that's currently, the only clue we've got. It's following near Automata Badana because we've gone from the ruined city and now we're in sort of the desert area, mm-hmm. which was the second. Yeah. Yeah. With the bunker which you go to. So mm-hmm. third will be carnival. Yeah. The, so it's fine. It'd be weird if the third phase is the carnival and that's the final one. Yeah. <laughs> it would. But oh, maybe would that's be. what it is. Maybe they're like, they're now mentioning the carnival and then it won't happen until the third one. <laughs> that is true. That is possible. Again, this is Yoko Taro, so we don't yeah. know. I know, I, I agree. I just think it would, like, for something that is relatively early in the game, end up being the final, like, part of the raid. It's quite first. iconic, mm. though, I suppose. It's it very a big Disney yeah. castle. Yeah. Um, speaking of uh, your Dark Apocalypse, um, there will be a bonus episode to that, making Shadowbringers thing. True. Ah, uh, yes. Um, yes. About making this raid so it'll have your guitar and and, and that, that nice friendly looking man who goes with him yeah <laughs> um i can't remember his name but he looks nice um yeah yeah that'll be cool um okay uh they mentioned job adjustments that are coming uh I'm back. uh and I'm back. uh they mentioned pve pvp uh they didn't go into specifics so i'm assuming that's for part two um, mm. But they have made changes to the frontline roulette, and it will now include all the frontline modes. I mean, what does it mean by modes? Of uh, uh, all the of the front lines, the different front lines. I assume, I assume, shatter. All, so all, okay. all the maps are different seas. modes because right, they have different right, rules. Because right. uh, as of right now, the frontline roulette, roulette. It's not a roulette. It's a daily challenge. Yeah. Um, only consists of the. Onsal Haka or whatever it's called. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. I'll cool. be very impressed with myself if I got that correct. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh so uh also resistance weapons will continue in this patch. Uh which it'll be the first step for upgrading these weapons. Finally the grind can begin, but not until July. <laughs> um and after that probably. This is probably a point uh five patch. Um, mm-hmm. Or a point one depends on I what think they, they said. Point five. Did was... they say point five? Did they specify point five? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty I sure. Think they remember I think they. I think they said that they would see. They. I think what they said was they hadn't confirmed anything, yeah. but it's looking like it will be a point mm. five. Oh, if it's, they, if it's looking okay. like that's definitely point five. Uh, well, uh, it's only like okay. a month after. Yeah. So August. A month after. It's like normally a bit more than that because like. The Give point one patches have been pushed like three weeks. Well, back. let me believe. Let okay, me okay, believe. okay, okay. But also think about the situation. The patch is already a month delayed. They oh. might try to like sh- make it mm. earlier. Um, but then I don't think they want the Ishgardian ranking doubling up with it at the same time. That makes sense. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, they that's don't want to have people splitting between their loyalties. Hmm. Hmm. Well, good luck with this mess, Square Enix. Um, the, uh, yeah. they, they announced the uh, also the new large-scale instance tied to the relics. Uh, it's called the mm. Bosjan Southern Front. Um, large-scale instance, though. Large-scale instance. Not Eureka. He even said Zen Zen Chigao. No, no, so no. He said not Eureka. Yeah. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said it. it is... Uh, it's Eureka, but not... Eure- it's like the... It's It's... The the map the map is like Eureka, but the gameplay is not. Yeah, the content. Yeah, the content mm-hmm. is different. Uh, oh, but so big the map news. Map is like Eureka. What does that mean? It's, it's, big, like it's, it's a, a big it's, 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 it's just yeah. a big like up to a, over a hundred players in one area. It's what he said. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, here's like... here's the twist. You don't have to do it to upgrade your relic. Mm-hmm. There is a Perfect. second way. Uh, that does not involve the Bosjan Southern Front, which I'm assuming is just going to be either light farming or poetics grinding. I'm assuming, yeah. which that is what fine by me. people want, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, uh, can you pick and choose though? Could you do like like five five out of ten of your relic in Bosjan system and then finish it outside? Or just I, th- I think I think what they've said in the past, and I I can't 
confirm this is that um that if you start one or the other you will have to continue in that mm. one for the rest of at least the step i don't know if they've confirmed that you will have to continue the rest of the weapon like that right well, and also what i think they'll do uh they'll probably make it more favorable doing the boston southern front like that will be probably. either well, easier yeah, will, or yeah. faster um they're gonna do make they have to add some incentive to the Boston but, Southern Front, yeah, otherwise people yes, won't do. be doing it. I think what they will be doing is that well they've said it's not Eureka, but like mm -hmm. it will be the more Eureka like in that it requires you to work alongside other people. Yeah. Um whereas the other alternative method is like, yeah, it's for people that don't want to do that, but also so they have something that they don't have to nerf at the yeah. at the end of the patch. Yeah, yeah. at the end of the expansion yeah. for people yeah. to actually be able to continue he, getting the relic. From what I can tell, it is there is a solo option which is not the southern front, and then there's party mm. option which is the southern Sad, front. Sad though, having just like the Bosja thing just be like, like it'll probably get like buffed at least a little bit. Yeah. But the majority of people just maybe do like the fucking solo way mm -hmm. after. You know, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Well, it, it's a good way to like. Well, at least there will be a way to do. Because good luck doing your. I don't know how Eureka is doing right now, but you can still do it. You can it. still get in there. Still doing it. Okay. You need a full party, though. I would say. Yeah. Mm. If you're not like if you're trying to do the, the NMs or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the ideal way to do this would be, uh, let's say, to get the next step, you need a hundred Bosgen crystals or something. Mm -hmm. mm. And when you're in the Eureka thing, you can gain the crystals, and when you're outside the Eureka thing, you can solo gain the crystals. As long as you have a total of a hundred, yeah. then you can take and choose the buff. You'll probably just be, like, buying a similar resource yeah. from or Moen, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah, that's a uh, big hype. Looking forward to see what that is all about. Uh, it's going to be cool to see the southern front of Bosja as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. It's actually a cool location. Yeah. <clears throat> It'll be so interesting to see what... Because, like, we've seen Bosja. We've seen Bosja. But we've seen Bosja. We've seen a memory of Bosja as it was pre uh, Bosjan incident. <laughs> Which is wild, because that is a massive city, and from what we know, all of it was destroyed in the Meteor Project. That is big mm. damage. That is a big... Mm. So that... Again, that was a crit. There has to be like a just a f big fat crater there, because how? But they made all those nice resources for that instance. They have to like there has to be some crumble. Yeah, there like, has to be know, some, something. Some, it's like some destroyed <laughs> fucking buildings yeah, and statues. Some crusty old buildings it, and statues. It might still be a crater, but you know, it'll yeah, like a path down it. Ah oh, man, it's, it's like a perfectly flat land with a dip in it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean. Hyatatos wasn't exactly like the most dynamic looking environment, and you know it, that made it the kind of one of the better Eurekan zones. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting Pagos tier design. Mm. God no! In terms of the instance, or even yeah. Animos tier design potentially. Yeah. Don't restrict me to have to like gain Don't. 15 levels before I can <laughs> unlock an ether yes, right on mounts this, or whatever. This is something I wanted to bring up, which I, I we brought up during well I brought up during the our stream of the live letter. Mm. I don't want to fucking level again. It no, just let it be about the, the relic. Yes, it is by far the worst aspect of Eureka is 100%. leveling and not because not being you, able to work truly towards the relic. Can't even do with the relic until you're back. That, well, see, that is done. especially infuriating, is the fact that you need to get to a specific... Not only do you have to start from level one, you have to get to a specific level to be able to even start mm. on the relic, mm. which is the only mm. reason why you're there. That yes. is annoying. That is... No, 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 no. Excuse me. No, no, it's fucked up. Not if you're Rollo. It's a fucked up <laughs> thing to do. <laughs> what, uh, Except for Rollo. If, if you're Rollo, yeah. if you're Rollo, you are not there for the relic. No. Um, I did it. So Rollo is there to prove a point. Yeah, Rollo yes. just... Yes, and I did prove a point. It yeah. fucking sucks. You weren't even doing the reason you're supposed to be there for. <laughs> Relics are stupid. I, they did, never feel... Like, but, I get my stupid Hydro stuck. Hold whatever. on. Rollo, didn't you eventually get it, though? You Didn't I do Hydro Toast with you? I got the hide it as tuck. Isn't there like one more step after that, right? Well, we were hoping yeah, so we not would. the one that's actually got a unique name. 
Oh yeah, right. You didn't do the finishing yeah. step. So okay. I, I did that, and I was like, "This weapon still looks stupid, and I don't care. And I don't care how it looks. So <laughs> whatever." Also, let us fucking mount up earlier. A hundred percent. Well, that they have they to. Want. Well, they've also told us that we're getting logos actions basically from the get. -go. Yeah. So we're getting that immediately. Mm. So that's mm. that's so good. Yeah. Logos actions are and you know so what I fun. Think if they give you that zoom zoom skill immediately, I we less upset <laughs> about not being able to mount up immediately. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'm assuming they're just going to take everything that was good. Like, just look at Hydatos and implement that mm -hmm. into whatever this content, new content is going to be like. Because yes. immediate mount, uh, logos actions ready from the uh, start. I don't care that much about the levels shit. I understand if they want to like gate like a part of the relic because remember relic is all about time but at least make it so that you can start on the relic from the beginning mm -hmm. mm. if you could like earn light while leveling I yes think oh yeah yes because it's, yes. it's weird I, like i i don't like i don't really mind the leveling levels either it's just that it was gated behind these like very high level caps it took yeah. a lot to get to yeah yeah uh, Thanks, <laughs> I mean, I'm also very against the whole level down feature as well. I'm not, I'm not a hardcore eleven it, player or other, or other similar type of. Yeah. Uh, it was a cute concept. It was kind of funny. It made like, the world more dangerous, I guess, uh, which is what people remember. This is that something. This has it. been a complaint in this game since the beginning. People mm. have been complaining that the overworld is not dangerous enough. For anyone. That's true. So they were like, okay, well, we can't actually do that to the actual overworld. So let's just add that feature to an overworld that's not part of the actual real world. So you're, I feel like it makes sense in Eureka. What I don't like is that they place the last quest in the most dangerous, desolate part of the map. So that yeah. when you die, mm, no one will area. come and save you. <laughs> no one will save you. And you will have to sit there and watch yeah. it tick down. And you will level down. And you can't complete the quest. Now you have yeah, to yeah, level yeah. again. Did mm -hmm. I ever tell you that very frustrating thing that happened to me while I was doing Eureka? What? What? Uh, I was in, uh, I think, Animos. And I was I was finishing it up. Like the, the quest line through the last quest, right? Uh -huh. You know, in a little fucking forest with scary mobs, right? Yeah. But mm -hmm. like... I went in there, I'm like, okay, I'll try and, like, avoid the mobs. But, like, if not, I'm like, whatever, I'll just, like, have someone res me. Mm -hmm. Or, because, like, I, like, I would try and make sure to die somewhere easy to get die to. Die where there's people. <laughs> die yes. where there's people. Mm -hmm. That's well, why people always I... pulled mobs into the group. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah um... But what people, I mean, what I didn't realize was the instance was emptying out. Mm -hmm. mm. And so... I was like, I'm gonna do this, and then I died because I was like, I wasn't careful enough, and I died like at a like basically at the entrance to this area. Like I ran back, uh -huh. and I was like, cool, can I get a res? And I looked at it instantly. Like, There's no one here. Oh. This place was just, it was it was just full, mm. and it's like that's the only reason why I fucking hate the deleveling things <laughs> because the instances can empty out. Yeah, it'd be one thing if the people cycle back in, but instances just die yeah i hate that it's they, like yeah. why <laughs> that, that is was it was a it was a and still probably is a big problem in eureka is yeah. that you're like in the instance you play for like an hour and then you have to constantly check the online list to see are we at cap or is, is it like not refilling because you know yeah. that if that mm. goes below like a hundred that instance is gonna die they need a way to mm. like merge instances or something they need or just refill them just keep them alive i don't yeah, know why does it need to have yeah, just Why have a... to end an instance because surely there aren't like you know ten instances just... would probably be quite a decent amount. To yeah, slide the, I think I think the problem is that they're afraid that you're gonna if they have a set limit they might go guess, before yeah. and then there won't be. Any... I'm sure yeah. there's some. I'm also sure there's some sort of spaghetti spaghetti reason as oh, to yeah. why like because yeah. instances have to get eventually all instant no no instance is like permanent. Right. Yeah. It's just made on like, demand, right? If you look at dungeons and stuff, they they those instances or the versions of those instances disappear once mm. everyone leaves. Yeah, yeah, but the, the with the dungeon they make an instance and that instance has like a ninety minute timer and then it will go. Yeah. Whereas with Eureka, everyone has their own personal timer. Yeah. So mm. it must work in a different way with that. Yeah. I don't even want to think about how they're keeping the Eureka system <laughs> no. going because that is probably a nightmare. <laughs> It's, I don't think it's not that bad because there's so little like, like people. Well, not little, but like, 
there's enough to fill up maybe an instance or two at a time kind yeah. of thing mm-hmm. instead of like before where it was like you yeah. would fill up like a, a, a I mean I, I'm like, I can't say how many instances were but I'm sure there were like a decent amount mm-hmm. and then you'd have people cycling and then yeah like, yeah uh, okay well uh, we have to move on uh, that was the Bosnian Southern Front but uh, they also mentioned that there will be updates to Disciples uh, of the Hand and Land they Whoa. mentioned something called Trial Synthesis which yeah does anyone know what this it's kind really of is? it's kind of like what we currently have with the test thing but you need oh, like so for that you need an item right you need yeah. to pick up an item mm-hmm. you don't have to do that now you can just test it without having the materials required that's quite nice yeah mm-hmm. um, so you can you use it to make a macro and then you, yeah. you just make the real one with your macro yeah 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 okay. yes um, it's obvious that they this was what they originally wanted but maybe mm. they needed some more time to perfect it which is why they had this mm-hmm. stupid system where you had that one item you needed and then to, to craft yeah. um, mm-hmm. a very good quality of life thing that they introduced with this is a recipe search using materials in your inventory mm. so yeah. yeah I'm assuming it's just a right click thing and you go if you have an item in your inventory and like hmm what can I make from this and you right click search for recipes yeah. and you get a list of all the things you can make with it and it's just such you know a what's feature. valuable too yeah yeah that's true uh, yeah so yeah uh, yeah that's a really good feature yeah uh they mentioned a new custom delivery npc did not tell us who uh that is but uh Any guesses i think they'll be on the first still i think because i think this will be the last custom delivery client on the first mm-hmm. i think it's going to be those v sisters oh interesting choice interesting choice. that's true i, I, I think that, that I think could that could be something to do with them yeah because people would want to undress them so obviously oh. that's why oh, I, mean, I was gonna say i feel like they're kind of like done in the story for now <laughs> so that you can kind of just yeah do whatever <laughs> yeah i was thinking it would be i think i've said this previously that um i think it would be the um the fucking trolley obsessor guy in um well there's him as well the choice yeah what, what do you think a train conductor would wear? Please dress me up appropriately. <laughs> uh, I'm quite like, you know... Um, or Runar. Oh, that is also... I mean, he's also kind of done in the story in a way, I guess. Mm, I mean, pretty much everyone in the first is done in the story. Yeah. You know that dwarf that... Um, I think it was like the dwarf child or something. And you had to follow him around on his quest to do things in Tom yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was quite cool and, and cute. It yeah. Was to help him yeah that's true could have been could be a dwarf as well of course yeah uh i mean there's the dwarf patch so maybe they will just tie it in i don't know maybe um okay uh there were some changes to collectibles i can't remember if they went into details um what they said i think this is related to the next item which is the fixed list of items for turn-ins i think they want to consolidate uh custom delivery npc turn-ins so that there's less Ah, yes, right. That's was this was. specific to custom deliveries? Or was it all collectibles? Uh, I don't oh God, know. I don't remember Cause I now. Think, cause what I remember from the translation at the time was that it was seemed to be specific to custom delivery clients, but uh, I don't know if that's mm. been confirmed at this right, point. Right. Chat at the time was in, in this the 14s Twitch was like um, no more rotating collectibles oh so it's possible that there's only going to be a fixed number of yeah like a fixed list for each class as well but okay that would be very was... nice so you could just stock up on on that one ingredient for the one item that you need it to make means everyone. when you've mm. spent the whole day luke Hill, um like collecting like lemons and then the moment you go to hand them in the time is tipped over yeah and lemons are now replaced with old world things yeah and then mm. that's the day ruined yeah and then you have to like walk like just carry them around until hopefully around, it appears yeah. in the list again yeah uh, okay, we talked about Ishgard Restoration, but uh, again, third phase was announced. Uh, interesting uh, other information. <laughs> the new ranking oh. period, uh, which rewards special achievements and titles, uh, will start with this patch. So, Disagree. It <laughs> so, <laughs> the ranking period resets what, every patch. That's not mm. what the impression we were getting. The impression I thought was that eventually everyone would have a chance at getting the title yeah in a well, way there could original. still be like a rotating thing at the end like once it's all said and done you can be like oh here's maybe the... yeah maybe yeah, when all the f- the f- tiers are done like when they're done when the construction is complete they might start like yeah. just That's having true. 
Well, we kind of thought that this would be a continuing thing so as to continue have people continually contributing to the Ishgard restoration. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like why the hell would anyone who's now a saint keep going? Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. um, as it is right it's now... my turn. <laughs> yeah. Because as it is right now, progress has slowed. Yes. To say the least. Mm -hmm. uh, Speaking of, though, has anyone seen a... Tyranodon match in game at all? I haven't. Yes. What's that one again? Is that the That's the one for getting 500k in every single? I I, I well I say yes. I have not seen one myself. I've seen on pictures. The, on I've not even seen it. Yoshi P's stream mm -hmm. at the end of the live letter, there are quite a few people surrounding him, showing off their Tyranodon mounts. Yeah. So. No. Oh, okay. Okay. I might have. Does seen it look one? cool? I mean, it looks like a Tyrannodon. <laughs> yeah. What do, you, what do you mean? Does it look cool? Yeah, it's big. Um, okay. They then mentioned it's a big reptile. Yeah. Flying reptile. Yeah. Uh, there's a big. Uh, sorry, not oh, big. It does look quite high quality. There are updates to Sky Steel tools as well. I need to start mm -hmm. that. Still haven't started any of that. Um, oh, mm -hmm. no, I've never. A lot of effort. I'll tell you on the ones. <laughs> yeah. Easy peasy imagine. for crafters, though. Is it really? Of course it is. Yes, hardly any. Well, you need yellow scripts, but okay. Well, that's pretty easy to get. Yeah. Um. All right, but big, big news. Um, mm. a Realm Reborn revamp. Uh, mm. Yeah. They... Have you got a black and white video ready for that? <laughs> I could have, but I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't be bothered. Um. Uh. First of all, before we get to that, uh, MSQ quests obviously uh, streamlined. They talked about 13% of the quests being completely removed. Mm -hmm. So 13%, that's a quite a lot. This is like from 2.0, like level 1 to level 50, <laughs> 2.55. So that's a lot of I'm quests. I'm guaranteeing that, that 13% is majorly in the post patches. Yes, that, that's, that's what, what they also said. Yeah. They said that the, the biggest problem, I don't know if that's mentioned here, but they said that the, um, the biggest issue with A Realm Reborn is around 2.1% which is where most oh, people I drop do. off in the game. Gosh. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and that, if you remember 2.1, you know why. Because that is a... I'm sorry, but it's a bit of a boring patch. <laughs> yeah. so. And then you look at the quest list, like how much more do I have to go? Yeah. A hundred quests. Yeah. Like like almost perfectly a hundred. Yeah, yeah. It is exactly a hundred It's exactly one. Oh, it is. The start, oh, it is. The oh. start of 2.1 and the end of 2.55. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was fun. Oh, yes. So 13% gone. They have then also, in addition to that, they have cut the fat of a lot of quests. Um, they have streamlined them. Uh, they are less grindy. They're less bloated. So what they're telling, so he's telling me I don't have to dance for eight separate people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Fuck, I, oh God, I hate that quest. Just so one. And they'll be like, I've seen enough. You yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there, there are less steps to the quests as well. So there are better... So mm -hmm. he specifically mentioned all the fetch quests that you have. Mm -hmm. um, those are going away uh, or being mm -hmm. trimmed down. Um, so that's good, good news. Um, hmm. I think that's what a lot no. of people that start the game, that's what that's a big turnoff. When you start the yep. game and you have to like yeah. run across a giant map, you can't even use a mount in the beginning of this game. Think about that. Think about that. Yeah. yeah. The quests hey. in the Realm Reborn early days are a little... Hey, yeah. at least what? Realm Reborn zones aren't anywhere near as big as our zones are. Now. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's true. And you get a choke about like level 15 in this game. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Speaking yeah, of... Really speaking of... Uh, well, we'll talk about that. Actually, I'll do that now. They made the Crystal Tower thing uh, required. That's... Yeah. We knew that. Uh, we talked about that last week. Um, my Little Which Chocobo. One's... Which one's my little chair? That's the that's the unlock quest unlocked for quest. Oh, right. your mount. That is now required for MSQ progression. So I think that's good. Um, I, I do know people who missed that. Very strange. But, but it's, it's hard it's, to miss. It is optional. It, it's optional, but it pops up under your MSQ thing. It does. Um, um, yeah. I brought this up on during a live letter stream. When are they going to make you do the Crystal Tower quest line? Are they, is it going to be integrated into the... It's well, there, there, there's a point where you spend a lot of time in, in Mordona. So I'm assuming it yeah. is during that. Because uh, uh, Crystal Tower is uh, 2.1. So, 2.1, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. probably around that Maybe time. Maybe it's just before Shadowbringers. Like, if you want to really? do it like... Hey, no. Yeah, I, no. I could say... Really? Put it that late? No. 
It no. doesn't make I like, like if they it redirect even... you. If they redirect you, then it seems super out of place. <laughs> yeah, I think Very I think it makes place. more sense to to introduce it in the patch when it was introduced. Because yeah, because you're gonna like then you'll go through Heavensward and because remember the there's there's that whole like I think it is two point one. It might just be two point three actually. I can't remember though. But there's a point where you spend a lot of time in Mordona and like you're yeah, talking to in the nowhere and stuff. Yeah, and maybe yeah. Added, maybe they've added something similar to like how Soroban was travels with you for like this first for a part of patch by 4.2 leading into the four lords or how yeah 5.2 there was like Kryle was with us leading into um the sorrow of Whirlet. yeah 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 oh this is gonna be very great for my yearly a run reborn playthrough so <sighs> i want to as soon as it comes out i'm gonna do it i'm gonna what, what i want i want to talk about it yeah yeah i want i want to do the i want to do the old one first though i kind of want i need to document it now i feel like i have to document the original yeah, storyline so, yeah, that, that's, that's a roar good. episode Mela, you're yeah. gonna miss out you gotta do <laughs> Mela, it you have to hurry. that is a, that is a roar episode you need to doc you do need to document this as soon you as definitely possible. do need to God document damn it. it yeah that's so long good that's luck. a lot of i need to clear need to buy a new hard drive just for that footage i think to be fair i'm confident there are all around reborn etc quest line videos on youtube so people have yeah, documented it is already yeah. someone so has already documented i think but yeah. it's still worth you doing it yeah don't forget the little di extra dialogue you get when we talk to npcs outside of quest too oh yeah because yeah. they always have stuff to say that's true they, yeah the developers have a very specific name for that and i've already forgotten what it was oh damn Flavor text was it? I don't know. It's not flavor text. They have a more specific name than that. Yeah, it's like bong, gong, bong, gong. Yeah, bong, it's, bong, it's the bong. Actually, bong. They, might call it like, they might call it like I think they call it something like hint text. Okay. Hint text sounds familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, they also mentioned that EXP boosts and more gear rewards will be provided from quests. So you do not need to do side quests to reach level fifty and beyond for Heaven's Word. Uh, well, they start giving out high quality to, gear think. as a part of Realm Reborn quests rather than just normal quality garbage. Mm, that would be nice. Yeah. Just... Well, after um, the uh, base game, after Realm Reborn, uh, 2.1 starts giving you like blue gear, yeah. or gold tone gear. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. That's significant though, because Realm Reborn had some of the biggest like gaps where you just had to grind levels afterwards. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you don't even have that now, because if you, no, that's true. Yeah, last time I did it, I got to Heaven Sword at like fifty-four with like minimal use of roulettes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll see uh, how that goes. But uh, they've it's clear they've already like they've already done the boost of EXP for a Realm Reborn. Mm -hmm. so they're doing it again, so you're getting mm -hmm. even more now. Mm -hmm. Um, well, imagine being on a professor for now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. gonna be wild. You're level eighty by the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, mounts. This is the big one. Uh, mounts can now fly in a realm reborn area. Yeah. Damn, that's right. Um, mm. You complete the ultimate weapon, and you can fly. The most logical way of doing it, I guess, actually. Yeah. I wonder if they had like little, like new little spots to look at from flying. Yeah. Well, they've said that certain places will not be step will not be. You can't land. Able to or no, I don't know if I like that necessarily. Yeah, yeah you but can't there's also it, Rollo brings a point. You might be able. They might be adding places you can land now, yeah, like um, perches here and there. Yeah, and at like, least you'll see it from a whole new perspective. Yeah, like you might be able to stand on top of the um that fucking those rocks at the top of uh Western Thanalan mm -hmm. near um. Vesper Bay. Yeah. Do you think you'll oh, be yeah. able to go across mm -hmm. like outer Lenosha? And like, that's yes. what I want to find out. And one just like one. There is Lenosha. there is that. You yeah. also you're also talking about Apple Lenosha. Oh, yeah. Or, well, Apple, yes, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I was gonna. Yeah. The... Yeah, you'd think that Upper Lenosha is the one that is higher up, and Outer Lenosha is the other one. Yeah. yeah. Well, it should all be Upper Lenosha. Uh, it but, should be. That uh, is true. Maybe. One day. I'm, no. oh, <laughs> maybe, oh, yeah, maybe one day, one but day. they would definitely have announced it if it was yeah. happening to that this, yeah. with this patch. I don't know if you remember in the screenshot. Um, roll, roll I don't know if you remember the screenshot, but like uh, the ceiling looked pretty high, like for the flight ceiling. Like it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they were very high. Yeah. 
The thing is they don't have to account for any depth because there's no swimming and there's also mm-hmm. the, the zones aren't designed for height like no. heavens would were. No. But it was still fairly high. Like you could Yeah. It was in Mordona and you could see like a decent way up. It was pretty power. high. Mm. Yeah. Um I mean it might just be, you know, like Well, well you have to remember that the, they've shot, already but... made changes to the overworld. We've seen it. You can see some of the changes. Mm. So 5.3 might change even more to like make it Mm. That's how they can get you that high up, I guess. They're adding a well, lot of I've shit. Been, yeah, go on. I want to fly over the nail in Curse the Central Highlands. Uh, I want to fly over the middle of Curse the oh Central God, Highlands, yes, please. I wonder. No, I don't think it'll get. Curse the Central is one of the most obscenely designed well, zones. Actually, yeah, Curse is going to be a bit of a challenge because Curse is on a slope. Like Central Highlands is like sloping down. So at some mm. point, you're going to be very high above the observatory. Mm-hmm. If you like start from sto- steel vigil and you fly mm. to the top, and the I o- imagine the ceiling is going to be very. They'll have a sloped no. ceiling. No, they're not going to do a sloped ceiling. I think that's too difficult for them. Yeah. I think the ceiling is just going to be a very low at the, at, the, at the north side of the map and yeah. very yeah. high at the south side of the map. Yeah, that's going to be, yeah. Good though. If you've ever leveled up your crafters via uh, leaves, You'll know uh, there's a huge uh, section at the end where you have to go to the observatory at the south and then white brim front mm-hmm. on the west. And you go from Lino- uh, you go from Limsa to Camp Dragonhead. And then you have to run all yeah. the way down, all the way west. Yeah. Like well, Central times. Highlands needs another Aether Rite. They do. Like 100%. I'm almost convinced that they were originally going to place one at the observatory. But that they, for some whatever reason, was mm. unable to. Either there or white brim. Yeah, one or the other needs it. Right, yeah. is better in my opinion. Yeah, but you do. Yeah. There are some quests. Because there's none of the west. <laughs> some quests that have you like shuttle between the observatory and mm. uh, Dragonhead. Mm. Uh, they, uh, to be honest, three Aetherites would, would be, be nice perfect. in Kurthus. Mm. Kurthus is the, is the was this the biggest a Realm Reborn map? Mm. Um, mm. So and it's designed horribly. Yes. <laughs> Because it's literally the 1.0 map. That is one. Mm. I think that's the only map that is almost exactly the way it was designed in 1.0. The other ones, I think, except are with just, snow. Yeah, except the, yeah, terrifying. they just added snow. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> How'd you guys play this game? <laughs> um, yes. So uh, yeah, we mentioned that you cannot enter bodies of water. They did not add diving to this or swimming to. That's to the fine. Zones. No, that's fine. I don't need to swim. Can't can't swim in uh, Mordana. That's a shame. No. Probably still filled with like ceruleum or something. I don't, yeah, I don't think yeah, I would want to swim in that. I don't know if I'd want to swim in Mordona. The no. only one I can think of that I'd really want to swim in is um, uh, Apollonosha. Mm, yes, yeah. Um, uh, actually, though, swimming in the Silver Tear Lake would be pretty damn cool because of like there'd be ruined bits oh. of the agriculture and stuff. And I agree uh, with you. I just think it would be stinky. I don't want to be hard. Yeah, that thing. Get... Is there like radiation in it in uh, 14? Is that it's a thing? Radiation. It's just crude oil, though. <laughs> can, can I, like, I mean, an extra seemingly limb? Black Rose can create radiation, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Black Rose is bad, but Ceruleum's just oil. Yeah, I think I think Ceruleum makes you sick, though. If you. It's like you wouldn't. You swim swim in oil. If you're <laughs> swimming around in oil in, in our world, I think, there I think is you'd ceruleum be ceruleum poisoning. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. It's not good for you, but it's not like. <laughs> yeah okay yes that's true uh okay let's move on to some new stuff um unreal trials yeah and uh faux hollows uh, this was a bit weird um mostly because they inter- they're kind of introducing this new content and not explaining all of it uh so mm. um i thought oh wow we're getting mythic dungeons kind of systems Oof. here I uh, wish. It is, yeah. You, it, you hope too much. Yeah, it is not that. It is uh, new trials. Well, they're old trials with new difficulties. Uh, they call it Unreal. Um, so uh, basically what they're doing is they'll introduce, I think, was it was once once or twice per patch or whatever. They'll add... Mm, once per patch. Uh, they'll add a trial, that uh, an old trial. So for instance, Shiva... Uh, and they'll call it Shiva Unreal, and it'll be synced up to our current level. Uh, and it's mm. basically making it a savage, sorry, expert, no, sorry, extreme <laughs> a difficulty uh, for the current 
level cap. Um, I feel like I was slightly missold this based on its name because in my head this was like an ultimate quality fight, mm. but just scaling up to eighty. These fights are kind of like some of them are hard just because of the mechanics. Yeah. Some of them are easy just because of the mechanics. Well, so scaling up like it's in, it's interesting that you mentioned that because that's what they said as well. The the they're the reason they're doing this is because now some of the fights are a bit difficult because we it's, don't there are certain things we don't have anymore. Uh, it's hard to rebalance them. Yeah, because they specifically mentioned stone skin. Like, mm, why don't uh, we have stone skin anymore? Or, or we d that's what we asked. But they said, we don't have stone skin anymore. Um, mm -hmm. And that's true. We don't have stone skin anymore. It's not too late to add it back, Yoshi P. It's just a shield. It's just a It's a, a buffer. It's not a shield. It's, it's, it's very it's important. It, is a, yeah. it was a well, very same, useful is, buffer. Rollo, it was the, the thing that made it powerful is that it was a shield that was not cancelled out by other shields. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And it and could it be precast, cool and it would last for 30 minutes. <laughs> so there was no, like, you didn't have to, like, oh, please wait. We have to, like, time this so my shields don't run out before yeah. you... you Get better at timing your shields, then. Yeah, but you didn't. You had this really strong... Was it, like, 20... How many percent was it? Was it 12, 15 percent? It was, it's like... Strong it was 10 percent. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it was good. And then you had, like... You had this fantastic stone skin too, which would cast on everyone. Oh, it made God, this really satisfying, like. I, I do, I do you miss you the don't sound. even start the. <laughs> you don't even start the dungeon until you, someone's cast that. No. Uh, stone skin, please. Uh, yeah, but the white way mage would just swift cast it, so you'd go like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so good. Uh, anyways, enough. Are you that. upset that they didn't add Ifrit? Wouldn't that have been a, like a kick in the teeth? That they didn't add Ifrit. What do you There's mean? The first huh? unreal. Oh, because <laughs> we oh. didn't. Uh, oh, we've, uh, we've yeah. Suffering, so we beat him, didn't we? We cleared yeah, it. We did clear it. Right? We did but clear God. it. God, um, that been, and then now we have to do it all again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So they basically uh, one, yeah, one per major patch. Sorry, it does say in the notes. Um, um, I guess it'll be cool to be able to cast like fire four in Shiva or something. Yeah, like, with new skills. See how it goes. Yeah, <laughs> it'll it'll be like. It sounds it, fun. It, it, Shiva, I mean, I guess Shiva was pretty hard when it came out. Shiva like, was. Mm -hmm. I, but I think it's more because we haven't seen those mechanics before. Yeah. But now... Well, like, what's the craziest thing Shiva does in Extreme, really? It's just switching between the weapons. Yes, yeah, having to pay attention mm -hmm. to her weapons, I guess. Um, yeah. But yeah. Um, so, uh, a lot of people uh, I noticed in chat uh, were a little upset because they thought... They were thinking... Did we lose hard mode dungeons for this? Because mm. what? Because now you're left with the question: What are the rewards? And now this is the information we have. This is the faux hollows information that we currently have. Complete. You would complete the trial, mm -hmm. which would allow you to play the faux hol hollows mini game. Mm -hmm. oh. What is the mini what? game? What is the mini game? Once per week. <laughs> Once per week. <laughs> what does that mean? What are the well, rewards? What is the mini means game? fake. Yeah. Yeah. So fake hollows. Fake hollows. Probably like what we're fighting is like, oh, these are the faux hollows of your memories. Yeah. This is nice seeing But what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. But it's going to be funny to be like, so have you done your weekly Shiva? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, and I hope the rewards are worth it because you're basically fighting an extreme primal. Um, mm -hmm. I hope it's not glams, like for like, oh Shiva goodness, oh my that god! What if it is the like Shiva gear? Remember <laughs> when we got that for healers? That it's oh, one yeah. of my least favorite types of gear that we ever got. It was the tome gear. But it can't can't be weapons. We've already got them. Yeah, Fine. we've already got plenty of weapons. H, but the, but they'd be cooler Shiva weapons with. I love. I don't know. They already glow. Oh my what god! I cannot believe we haven't talked about it. Before we move on to miscellaneous, let's talk mm -hmm. about Hildebrand. Because there is none of it. Okay. Oh yeah. No. I was gonna. I was gonna say. Well, I don't there's remember. There's gonna be a second live letter, so. No, well, but they said we there, have information. There has been this. Yeah. There has been this. Like unconfirmed whispers. Yeah. Yes, these unconfirmed whispers that Hildebrand will not be around for this expansion at all. Which is extremely odd. And now, of course, I will not spoil anything. But Hild the the old last Hildebrand quest strongly implied that he would return. 
in this mm. expansion. Mm. Uh, so if they d have just if have they just if they yeah. have decided Chat. not to include him, so yeah, sorry. Chat Chat is saying there was an interview. <clears throat> We have tried to find this interview. If someone and can no find, one has provided us this source. If, if someone, someone can provide us the source, please, that would be useful. But if someone can find it, yes, we need to confirm it before we can like say ex that it is mm. definitely cancelled. Mm. But if people have been telling us this a yes, lot, yes. that there has been this interview that they mentioned this in, but <laughs> no one has provided us the interview with this fabled interview. I feel like this is like hearsay now. Yeah, exactly. It's, that's what it is right now. So, but mm. the fact that it was not announced for 5.3 right now <laughs> kind of mm. m gives it more legs to stand on. Uh, but if that's the case, then they must have they must have decided to cancel it after the last quest for Hildebrand. Yeah. Yes. Um, which is very strange, because from what I can gather, Hildebrand is like very popular content in 14. Uh, it is mm. not for everyone. But the people that like Hildebrand like Hildebrand a lot. So I don't know. It's very strange. Um, but yeah, there was no. Hildebrand's one of the sort of contents in this game that I've sort of saved. Like, there are some things, some quests in this game that I, I really like the concept of. Mm. And so would rather save them. Yeah. Like, um, Hildebrand in the Moogle delivery quests. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want my last things in this game to be like leveling Rome. So, <laughs> I, I also just want to mention, because someone mentioned that, yes, originally Hildebrand was not meant to, they weren't sure if they are going to add Hildebrand to 3.0, but Hildebrand, the way Hildebrand ended in A Realm Reborn would sort of accept, we would accept it, that, that he would not appear mm. in Heavensward, but the way this last questline ended made it very k obvious if that... Hildebrand we... does not end up on the first, mm -hmm. at some point... The ending of the most recent Hildebrand quest lines is very strange. Yes, <laughs> it, it leaves you with many questions, and it's there's like a continuation that is like obvious that's never gonna come. That's very strange to me. What if so? Hildebrand comes back in five point four or five point five, and at this point we're done with like the source or whatever for the most part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just starts. Sorry, the first, yeah, sorry. And it just starts with like, wow, thank, what was it? I, wow, now, shoot, that was a fun adventure on the source. <laughs> Let's get back to That is going to be infuriating. That Stop I, saying the source I, the first. I, yeah, what, whatever. It, yeah. The big, yeah, that was a fun adventure I had on the first, but I'm back now. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's God. continue what we were doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. Uh, let's move on miscellaneous. This is the last uh, part of the live letter. Uh, some quality of life stuff. Parties can now merge via the party finder. Uh, so an existing party can, party can now join a different one. So if you're like cool. both looking for the same thing, you can go like, hey, we have what you need. Can we just merge? Let's sure. Merge. Um, merge. That's nice. Uh, you can set no duplicate job requirements in the party finder. Very nice. So you can prevent duplicate classes oh, from joining. God, yes. Um, you can now use World Visit while in a cross-world party. That's good, I guess. Uh, you couldn't do that before. Very, very good for hunt parties. Yeah. Right. Uh, new uh, New Game Plus chapters because of the revamp. And I'm assuming they're adding the Shadowbringers stuff from this uh, previous patch, like 5.2. Because I don't think that's yeah. in New Game Plus right now. I wonder if there'll be any other content other than that. Because in previous patches, they've been adding things like Hildebrand or mm. like job quests and stuff they like might that. Do that. So they I'm might curious. do that. I'm curious if there's any other side content that they're going to add for this there's, one. There's quite a bit, actually. When you start looking at, like... Uh, were they not missing a Realm Reborn? Or did they add They were now? missing a Realm Reborn. They were one in, they wanted to wait for the revamp. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, Parasols will get a new menu. So they're in oh, yeah. there. Absolutely pointless. Absolutely pointless. Well, no, no, no. It is Remove better. Remove them from the game. It is... No, the Parasols? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they, they... I mean, it makes Unless more sense. Unless you have confirmed you're adding, like, five new Parasol... Like they probably patch. they probably will. I think they just I want to add a menu so that we don't need to have them as fucking buttons <coughs> on our hotbar. I want to leave mm. one. I want one that looks like a frog. Um, okay. I'm sorry. Send in those. I'm sorry. You can, you... Yeah. Can you just play Animal Crossing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and then finally, they will be adding new token exchange NPCs to all the major cities. City states. Finally. So you can mm, exchange your on a related anymore. note, which is not here for some reason. Uh, all previously upgraded gear 
uh, oh, yes. gear will now just be upgraded. Yes. So you won't oh, need the upgrade oh, tokens. Thank God so, for that. So, <laughs> so, so Mela, it is highly likely they will remove them. So there yeah. You go. Oh, don't want you tell him. Mela, oh, go grab it. Hurry. I yeah. like saying things, these things to him because it upsets you. Uh, I'm going to get some of them uh, gobby dips. Mela, you dips must have there's, there's three. There's three per. There's like nine per expansion, Mela. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're cheap <laughs> as well. Also, remember, we'll probably be for the gathering and crafting ones as well. Oh, it is yeah. so utterly pointless. My oid, oid collection is Your fine. Oids. I hate that. I hate that. But, uh, very good change, by the way. It's very Marty. annoying. You're like yeah. hearing alts. Yes. Be like, ah. Yeah, All right. I actually don't usually bother with like the augmented ironworks. 100 percent them because they're really annoying to uh, get. Yeah, I was I was surprised mm -hmm. that if you jump a character, uh, you get the base uh, gear, like not the upgraded mm -hmm. version of the gear. You don't get the upgraded mm -hmm. gear. It's so strange. Very weird. Um, like it's this um, mystic thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming like that's going to change as well. Melee, think about this too. You won't be able to get the unupgraded gear. Ever either once this happens, so you have to get every piece. Uh, nah, you're gonna have to you're buy like, like you have to you have to cap out on retainers, Mela. Stuff like that. Yeah, um, it's about the icon swallow. It's things like it's, it's you know it's, it's nice okay. icons and stuff. See, like that. I understand Mela with certain things like the the PvP materia. I understand. Oh, I love that Aurelius yeah. piss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love that. Tokens I don't quite get, but sometimes and sometimes not. Yeah. Like the Moogle ones, it'll be nice to have like every single tombstone that they've ever released, but as an item, uh -huh. I think that's quite nice. Mm. I kind of um, agree with that because like there's no real record in game of those things anymore. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. But not like I don't care about all the armor and stuff. That's no. fine. I will say, I don't think some of the to the icons for like the upgrade tokens. Are that interesting? Because they seem, I believe, a lot of them share visuals with other things in the game. I'll double check mm. all that. Because if I can, if they are like things that are obtainable elsewhere, then that's not. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, that is the live letter. And would you look at that? That is the show as well. Uh, so sorry, Mog Mailers. Sorry, Mog Mailers, but uh, we will read you next week. Uh, Thanks for watching this episode of Speakers of Fightland. Uh, remember to follow at Speakers XIV, Twitch dot, on Twitter at, at Speakers XIV. At speakersxiv, twitch.tv slash speakersxiv, then youtube.com slash speakersxiv, exclamation discord in chat if you want to join our discord server, and uh, send us mogmail, speakersxiv.com slash mogmail. We will read that next week. And now, and this time I mean it, we will read mogmail at the beginning of the episode. There's nothing to cover we next week. We will. We're not going to do it. It's going to be a, For realsies, guys. a very quiet week next week. Uh, all right. Uh, stay tuned for the post show. We'll be reading questions from the syndicate, and that will be a fun time. So make sure you watch that if you're watching live. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. If not, we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. Yes.